We're exploring many ways of using MindJet and several of the ways that are most intriguing are one using it with SharePoint. We have a big commitment to SharePoint here at EDC and MindJet is proving a really useful addition to our SharePoint installation because it allows us to add some efficiencies and actually make up for some of the problems we've experienced with SharePoint. SharePoint's really good at setting up permissions and onboarding and offboarding staff, but it's been a real problem with its complexity, especially for field workers outside the office to have to open up nested folders or frankly for us to have to do very customized interfaces to make it easy to navigate when you have a lot of information in any one SharePoint site. So one of the areas we found very successful was creating a map of the resources within SharePoint for a project team and therefore when they're out in the field they can quickly locate what they need for a particular use right then and there and get the materials using the map as a front-end interface back into our SharePoint repository. So it, it actually is a much easier way for them to pull something out right in the middle of a meeting with a client or something like that. The benefit of the MindJet interface, having a map into that, is you quickly can find what you need, get to the document without having to go through layers of folders. So MindJet sort of makes up for some of the, the hard spots that we found with SharePoint. So the blend of the two is very promising for us.